Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and all people of goodwill, I greet you today in the name of In Defense of Christians, IDC. That would be Tanya Khoury, Andrew Doran, Richard Gazelle, Sarah Basile, the Board of Trustees, the Board of Advisors, the Board of Religious Advisors, as well as the staff, the interns, the volunteers, the chapter members, and numerous partners and generous benefactors on behalf of IDC. So many of our brothers and sisters suffer persecution simply because of their witness to our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. IDC was created to be their voice. We as Christians, were, we are not afraid of persecution. Nothing will deter us from witnessing to Christ crucified and raised from the dead. I too would be willing to join the many martyrs as well as the bishops, especially in particular Archbishop Ibrahim, Archbishop Yazaji, who were kidnapped over seven or eight years ago outside of their sea in Aleppo, Syria. And we still are waiting and hoping to hear something. And we pray for them so that they're never alone. We support at IDC and advocate and work tirelessly for a world in which no one would have to shed tears for a brother or sister silenced by the hateful, sinful, shameful persecution that they receive. And we at IDC speak for the voiceless and advocate to let their stories be heard in the halls of power here in the United States and elsewhere throughout the world, as well as in the media. It seems that it's getting worse, unfortunately. And so let us pray, brothers and sisters, that this Christmas, when God became man and dwelt among us, let us pray, let us offer financial support let us also advocate for those who speak for the defenseless. We know that our Savior and Redeemer hears our prayer and in this world and in the next answers our prayer. Grant us, O Lord, your abiding presence and your strength. Lord our God, hear our prayer on your countless, for your countless witnesses, martyred and persecuted throughout the world for their faith in you. To you, O Christ, be glory and upon us your mercy, now and forever. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen.